Hello. Today we're going to be talking about some simple ways to stay healthy and well mentally. The great changes that everyone is experiencing during these exceptional times can be psychologically disturbing. And if one already has underlying mental health problems, then this can obviously be magnified to unbearable levels. Avoid things that create stress. For example, the news. Limiting one's exposure to negative information is a good idea. It's important to be able to manage and navigate through this period of uncertainty for all of us, as we are often not look, just looking after ourselves, but we have children, family or friends to look after as well. They will also need to manage their own feelings. So without trying to be a therapist, it's just as important to be there in a supporting role. Allowing others to be able to express their feelings and not being afraid to help them explore why they may be feeling like this and what it is specifically or generally that is affecting them. We really need to be kind to ourselves and tolerant of others as change is difficult to manage. Most of us are resistant to change and as humans we want everything to stay the same. We don't want to get old, we don't want to change and we certainly don't want to lose our friends and loved ones. But change is inevitable and time moves on. Nature is continually on the move. The sun rises and the sun sets. The flowers bloom and wither away. Life goes on. All we can really do is be in the moment and accept things as they are. You'll start to feel stronger when you do. So how does one manage this on a daily basis? Well, perhaps the answer lies in what we do have some control over, which is how we react or behave in our daily lives. If we're feeling depressed, stressed, anxious or threatened, we need to balance these thoughts and emotions and stabilise our feelings. There are multiple ways of achieving this, such as mindfulness, meditation, breathing exercises, talking and sharing one's feelings, watching movies, listening or playing to music, singing, painting and creating, basically doing the thing that one likes to do the most. This can all help. Physical exercise is also important as this increases the production of neurotransmitters and improves the brain's chemical balance. So walking, dancing, running, etc. will also be helpful too. Obviously, team sports are not possible currently, so we have to be creative and concentrate on the things that we can do. If you like to spend time with your friends and family, then please make sure you stay in touch by phone or video link. If you're alone or in isolation or by yourself, this is essential and it can really be a lifeline. If you're in treatment for mental health issues or having counselling, it's of paramount importance that you continue the treatment by phone or online. It's much better to keep talking than it is to let things lapse until they get difficult and harder to deal with. Remember, if you can't speak to your therapist or counsellor, there are free telephone helplines and services manned by trained volunteers, such as the Samaritans, which provide an excellent service and are available 24 hours a day. I hope this video has been helpful. Perhaps it could help someone you know. Let me know what you'd like me to cover next time. Take care, look after yourselves and have a good day.